Purdue is at Iowa's number in recent years. Boilermakers have won four out of the last five games against the Hawkeyes. At four and four, Iowa isn't winning the Big Ten, but a win today would do a lot for the season. Iowa coming off its best offensive performance against Northwestern. Former Hawkeye Charlie Jones now with Purdue and leading the Big Ten in receiving. First quarter, Aiden O'Connell looking deep for Jones, and they got him. 11 catches, 104 yards for Jones, but that was about it for the Purdue offense. Second quarter, scoreless, not anymore. Spencer Petras, time to throw, finds Sam Laporta. 16 yards into the end zone. Hawkeyes on the board first, it's 7-zip. Defense doing what it does. Passes high from O'Connell and then picked off by Kayvon Merriweather. Iowa back in business. Ensuing Hawkeye drive, Petrus. The quick slant to Nico Ragini. And then Nico does the rest. Turns on the Jets. 29 yards to the house. It's another touchdown. Where did this offense come from? It's 14 zip. Next Purdue possession, O'Connell's throw high again and into the arms of Seth Benson. Second straight interception for the Iowa D. That leads to a field goal, 17 to three Hawkeyes at the half. Second play of the third quarter, Iowa goes to the ground. Caleb Johnson breaks through the line and then turns on to the speed. Gets to the outside and he's gone, 75 yards. Iowa is rolling up 24 to three. Johnson, the freshman, rushes for 200 yards on 22 carries. And from there, it's all defense. O'Connell, nowhere to go. Deontay Craig with the sack. Iowa holds Purdue 30 points and almost 200 yards under its season average. Hawkeyes with a big road win, 24 to three over the Boilermakers. The Cyclones are in an unfamiliar position under Matt Campbell. Losing record, five straight losses to begin Big 12 play has Iowa State off to its worst start since Campbell's first season six years ago. Home again today, trying to end that skid, taking on West Virginia from Jack Trice Stadium. First quarter, some trickery. Hand off to Gyro Brock, but it's a reverse. Coming back the other way to Jalen Knoll. Good for 27 yards down the sidelines. And that sets up a 30-yard field goal from Jace Gilbert. Good. Three zip clones on top, but bad news for Brock. The running back would later be carted off the field with a leg injury he would not return. Second quarter, more from the offense. Hunter Deckers scrambling, looking, finds Deshaun Hanneke, gets grabbed, but still comes down with it in the end zone. 16 yard touchdown, 10 zip, ISU on top. But the Mountaineers answer just before the half. JT Daniels airs it out to Bryce Ford Wheaton. Back shoulder, falling out of bounds into the end zone. That's a touchdown, 10-7 at the half. Second half, it's all Iowa State. Move to the fourth quarter, let's go back to the air. Deckers looking end zone, Xavier Hutchinson on the other end. Got it, 24 yards to X. Lead back up to 10, 17-7. A little dance for the crowd. More in the fourth quarter. Back to the ground, Cartavius Norton, freshman running back, bouncy outside into the end zone, into the end zone from five yards out. First touchdown of his career, he'd tack on one more, and Iowa State ends the five-game losing streak, 31-14, big over West Virginia. Man, it was really rewarding to see the growth that I think that internally we have felt we were really close to becoming. Um, some of the growth and in, in, in development really in some areas that needed to grow and develop um, start to really show forward. And, and I thought the execution really in all phases of the game was, was really efficient. And those are things where I feel like we've been really close to doing um, and just hadn't been able to get over the hump yet to do that with consistency for 60 minutes. And I thought that's the best we've done in all three phases.